thought you only spoke. Kind of sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. No, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Here's something I can't figure out. Odin wants to prevent Ragnarok. But the serpent's already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? Fate's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the Old Father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost cheats. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> 